Ballot Initiative Project, Amendment A. For this presentation, we are going to be talking about what a yes or no vote would mean, the history of the ballot, and arguments for and against it. Voting yes on Amendment A would support the change of language in the Colorado State Constitution. It would be an affirmative vote to eliminate all forms of slavery and involuntary servitude in the state of Colorado. Voting no would, on Amendment A would result in no change to the Colorado State Constitution. It would essentially allow slavery or involuntary servitude for those duly convicted of a crime. The beginning step for the national abolition of slavery began when Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. But the ultimate end to slavery came with the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Article 2, Section 26 of Colorado's Constitution, much like the 13th Amendment, prohibits slavery and, invol and involuntary servitude, except for those who are duly convicted of a crime. In 2016, Amendment T was added to the Colorado ballot, looking to abolish slavery and involuntary servitude for those who are duly convicted of crimes. Amendment T failed to pass in 2016 by a small margin. Many argued that the language for, the, for Amendment T on the ballot was too confusing. In an attempt to avoid confusion and better hopes of getting the amendment passed, a new amendment, Amendment A, was added to the 2018 Colorado ballot. The argument for Amendment A is that slavery is morally wrong and does not uphold traditional American values like freedom and equality, no matter the circumstance. The argument against this bill is that the offenders are being taught valuable work skills providing structure in the institution and also creating income for the Department of Corrections. Um, the issue of slavery has been one of the contention for centuries, especially here in the United States. Hopefully this guide can fully inform you, the voter, to make the decision you think will best form for the future of Colorado. Amendment A was created by Abolish Slavery Colorado. Many groups support the amendment, but no groups could be found in official opposition of the amendment. Both the Colorado State House of Representatives and the Colorado State Senate voted unanimously to include the amendment on this year's ballot. 